What led you to become a nurse navigator and come into the oncology world? So when I graduated nursing school, I actually applied several different places. And finally, the inpatient unit here at Parkview called me and it was my first nursing job. And um, as I fulfilled that role, I just kind of felt a calling to being an oncology nurse. Shortly after starting that career, my own mom was diagnosed with a cancer. And so I learned how not only to care for my patients, but to also care for my own family member. And then I ventured out because I think like most people, most career people, you want to try something different and, and see what else is out there. And I went to the endoscopy department where I then also began working with Dr. Sharma and learned about interventional endoscopy procedures and again those oncology patients came to find me again and I was caring for patients with advanced pancreatic cancers and different GI cancers and I just felt this calling to go back to the cancer patients that I had been serving and I wanted to be a nurse navigator and so I even talked with Dr. Sharma about it and he's like sounds like you need to go back to school so you can <laughs> earn the degrees needed to be that leadership and support person for the patients at the Cancer Institute. And so I did, and here I am. I think the amazing thing about being a navigator is that you get a completely different outlook on the care of the patient. You know, before when I was specialized in radiation or research, you only got to see that piece. And so with being a navigator, you get to see every piece. You get to see those infusion nurses who are just out of this world smart. Right. They're the eyes and ears for the patient. They're always there advocating. You get to see the radiation nurses that are so compassionate and the therapists that do such a great job and see those patients every single day. Mm -hmm. The office staff that really make the world go round. Yes. You know? And I think that we're really lucky here at PCI to have all the right people in all the right places. I agree. From the first moment you walk in, you feel it when you walk mm -hmm. into our lobby and just the warmth and the care that's surrounded and very patient-centered from the very beginning is an opportunity to allow our patients to continue to be themselves. We jump in and get to be that person that can take on a lot of the everyday stressors so that they don't have to deal with the hard some of the more difficult parts of cancer treatment like how do I pay my bills, how do I get food on the table, we get to help them with those parts so that they do get to continue to be themselves and carry on with their life and be their friend. Like I tell a lot of them, you're, you're getting a new friend, whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm here to stick with you, to be that person you can work through. Try to limit what cancer can take from them. Exactly, yeah. so that you cancer. get to be you. Yeah. yeah. And that's often one of the first things I talk to the patients about is, who are you? What do you do? Who is your family? What things make you happy? And I think by getting to know them, then you can help them. I can be a better yeah. friend. Yeah. yeah. One thing that I always take away from this job, one of my favorite things, is it gives you perspective. Most definitely. I was thinking back at Christmas time, I'm like, you know, I just can't wait to get through this. I can't wait for Christmas to be over, for the holidays to be behind me. And that same day, I came in and I sat down beside a patient who was just hoping to make it to Christmas. And I thought, that is the perspective that I needed. Right. I need to take a step back and realize, don't take every day for granted. You know, you're not guaranteed to have your next. Right. These people are fighting for everything in here. I just can't wait to have all the fuss behind me. Right. So it's little things like that where really, this job is so humbling um, that I'm just really thankful to be here. And to be needed. able to help, yeah. to even offer my ears to <laughs> listen to whatever it is that they need to share. Yeah. Patients a lot of times give us more than we give them. Yeah. The patients that I serve bring me hope every single day. When I see them come back in after they fight and they feel so terrible after their treatments and chemotherapies and just all kinds of things that they fight, their emotional distresses, their, their fears, their anxiety, but yet they still show up the next day for the next treatment to get knocked down again and just climb that mountain again day after day. That brings me hope. I have always felt lucky and blessed to be given the opportunity to be a nurse navigator and to help patients and help support them through this process. I'm the one that's lucky. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah.